Hey guys, welcome to my second video of today, Little Monsters, issue number four by Image Comics, made by Jeff Lemire and just Dustin Nguyen. Um, Little Monsters, we did three videos so far, and uh, yeah, if you want to know what it's all about, check out my, uh, my reviews of Little Monsters issue one till three. And if you like what I'm seeing, subscribe to my channel and all that jazz. Uh, like my video, share my video. Up, 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 up. Um, now, this is a slow burn, and uh, I have now four, five, and six, and I believe there's so far eight comics out now or coming out in total. Uh, I'm still not sure if I'm liking this. I'm, well, I'm saying that wrong. I love the premise, but it's a very, very slow burn, and every time we go somewhere and have a revelation, then, okay, we have a cliffhanger, that's cool, then we go to the next one, and then, oh, a little sprinkling here and there, and then, oh, we got a cliffhanger. I like that, but on the other hand, um, I want to know now what is going on, right? I mean, this is a post-apocalyptic world. These kids are vampires. They've been turned. They've been left behind by the ones that turned them somehow. We don't know what happened to the world. We don't know... Um, who these other people are that turn them, what their goal or purpose is. And I hope we see more quickly. Um, so we begin here, 1993, Nebraska. We have these two kids with a fishing pole. And they, um, you know, they are twins, brothers, and they uh, argue a lot. But also, you know, wants to, one is acting tougher than the other ones. And this is before they've been turned. So they are... Um, Homeless, I guess, if that's how you call it. And they're jumping out, and then the, the fish... Um, I mean, look, listen, this is nice. Um, the fishing rod broke. Um, and he said, oh, I broke my fishing pole. It was just a stick. Find another one, right? So there's... I love it that we've seen some background from all these characters instead of, you know, pushing the story through. That's the fun part of slow storytelling. You have the room, the breathing room, to tell... Um, backgrounds uh, and, and create um, different personalities because all these little monsters have different personalities and it's really shown and I like that very much. Uh, the downside is, is that it's a little bit too slow for my taste and, um, and I have also some, I love black and white, so I have uh, lots of gray tones, uh, but they decided to have very minimalistic kind of art, if you know what I mean. Focusing more on the characters instead of... It's, it's always dark. I mean, it makes sense because they are vampires. But I wish there was a little bit more light sources, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, moving on. So um, they say, hey, I I'm, I'm think we, uh, there will be work anywhere. I don't know. Any bread left? No, beans are gone too. I'm hungry, Ray. I know. Me too. But we keep to keep moving east like Pa said. We'll be okay. I wish we stayed home, he says. We couldn't... Ma and Pa couldn't barely feed Thomas and Sally. No, I didn't mean they have more siblings. Um, as it was. We're men now, Ronnie. We need to just to find another... Um, we, need, we just need to find work. Look after each other. S just so hungry all the time. And then they hear a voice. I know how you feel. You understand what real hunger is. Who's there? We ain't got no food and got no money, he says. And then this guy comes out of the shadow and he says, Oh, uh, don't, 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 don't be scared. I don't need food. Don't need money. You don't need to be hungry anymore either. Now, this surprised me a little bit because in the, in the last two, three issues, there was this guy with the long white hair, um, vampire scary dude and now we have another dude that is a vampire and turning kids uh, okay who are you and where do you come from anyway we go to the now where Ronnie and Raymond are digging into this well body um, when we last saw him he was still alive and then they are drinking him dry so I believe he's not dead and these children have never been fed Human blood. They always lived on uh, rats, animals, etc. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't even know there were humans out there. So this is the very first time they have a taste for it, and they discovered it by accident, which I like. And uh, they all say, "Oh man, give me a minute. I don't feel right." There, see, 
Yeah, they are all intoxicated by the human blood and they feel great. He said, I feel incredible. Um, it's like I can see again, and, but when he's not feeling well. And, um, and then the, uh, one of the uh, other, well, vampire girls says, I want more. Is there more? And um, there has to be more, right? I mean, there can be just only one left. Right, Billy? Um, Billy says, yeah, there are more because the, this guy talked to the walkie-talkie, so there must be more. That's a good thing. That's nice. Well, good thing. Well, bad for the humans, but good for them, I mean. Um, I wonder what happened to their personalities because this guy was bored in the beginning before, they, before he uh, saw a human. I wonder what, you know, drinking real blood is doing uh, with them, right? I mean, they find now a way to feel good and be intoxicated, probably getting stronger. Um, but he also say, well, let's, let's wait for that. So we go to this uh, little vampire called Romy. Uh, this little girl, uh, well, the guy that lies over there, the, the draining dry, well, it's her dad. And um, she discovered, Romy revealed his fangs to her and she says, how long have you been like that? Romy doesn't say anything. He can't talk as far as I know. And this can't be right. This isn't real, she says. And he's tried to comfort her. He doesn't want to hurt her. But uh, she, is, she is very emotional. She says, don't touch me. Get away from me. And, uh, and I'm going to my dad and I don't want you to follow me. Then there's another voice. Romy would never hurt anyone. And then we uh, meeting with the others, a couple of others, this, this dude, guitar dude and this guy. And they, they are... A couple, I guess. And they want to hurt, don't, do not want to hurt her. But on the other hand, I'm guessing, but it's my guessing. She says, um, don't freak out. We can help you. I want my dad. I want to go home. And then she says, how far is home? I wonder if there's, a, you know, they try to use her, you know, for, you know, getting to know the location. But maybe they are just want to help her and, for real, I don't know. And um, she said, I don't know. I wasn't even supposed to come, but I followed my dad anywhere. And, um, and the day he's, Romy says, we, we need to go there. I said, let's go and see. So she she's going with them or vice versa. Then when it's, I talked about the minimalistic uh, art, it's not really true what I'm saying. But, you know, this is our very, 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 very dark, dark, dark. And then we have this highlight because we want to focus on the on the... Well, on, on the vampire monsters. Um, but I wish, like I said, have different light sources, maybe moon glowing and reflecting, etc. My personal preference, but I know the art, I know this is a deliberate art direction. Not really mine, but uh, I don't know. Anyway, so um, these guys also figured out they need to go somewhere uh, to find more humans. But uh, the kids are, you know, a little bit arguing with themselves. And I believe this guy is taking lead. Um, he, this girl says, the sun is, will be up in a couple of hours. We need to go. So we, not, we find somewhere else to sleep. Wait, what do you mean? We can't. Our, our sleeping places. We need our sleeping places. And then the other twin says, yeah, I mean, he's right. They said, they said, they said a lot of things. They said they'd come back for us. They said they'd never leave us. How long ago was that? So long ago, we can't even remember. And then I wonder, how many years are these kids living? 10, 50, 100, more? I don't know. Probably more because the, the, the world is doomed. And the last time we saw these twins was in 1933. So we don't even know how far in the future this is. Incredible. Um, so they are a little bit cautious now. And this is... Uh, he says, um, it's the one rule, Billy. We need our sleeping places. But what if that was a lie? What if everything they told us was a lie to keep us here? And then they are quiet and says, come on, it's not far. And then I wonder, who are they? I mean, I know just these guys are turning kids. But what is the purpose? You know, I have a lot of questions. And I'm, you know, they're sprinkling here and there some, some bits of story. But again, it's, it's a little bit too slow for me. And that, that ruins a little bit, but at the same time, it's intriguing enough to, to, I want to know more. And that's a good thing. So they're keeping me on my toes. Um, but 
um, it seems that one of the twins is scared. Um, he said, do you think it's true? You think they lied? It doesn't matter. It's just us now. It's going to be okay. You sure? I promise. Wait, what? Do you smell them? Ah, oh, interesting. So we uh, are here at the human camp. And I wonder again, what happened to the humans, right? What, what happened before in the apocalypse? I wonder. So these are um, the same group from, you know, from the little girl and the dude that's been drained dry. And they say, hey, um, is Chom back? And um, I said, I'll go look for him as, as soon as I finish here. And then this little girl is here. And she stand there. Who the hell are you? Uh, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt? And she does this, which means vampire attack. And they are going for it. They are. Uh, and, and then I, the narrative kicks in, and I love that. Change may start slowly, but when it takes hold, there is no stopping it. It can consume, it can devour, and you may not, uh, and you have no choice but let let it happen or left behind. He said, "This is amazing. Come on, man. See, yeah, you're right. It feels amazing, but no change comes without a cost. It feels so good. Um, they have absolutely no um, sense of um, how do you say the." The repercussions, because if you kill them and drain them dry, uh, who says where are the next humans are? You cannot drain them dry and kill them infinitely. But we don't even know how, ma how many uh, people are left alive. But these kids are, you know, these are just kids. And he says, again, it feels so good. But then this happens. Okay, it has a cost. Ronnie? To be continued. This is a very fucking cool cliffhanger. I must lie, I must say, oh my god, what happens next? And uh, then we can continue in Little Monsters issue number five that I have. Uh, yeah, great stuff. And we have a preview from uh, this comic that I'm not really interested in. Uh, yeah, again, um, very cool, very slow burn. Um, Image, I've, I said it again, Image does a very good job creating new. IPs and then do, I don't know, 10, 12 issues, maybe shorter, maybe a little bit longer, stops and then creating another IP instead of going and going and going. I think that um, Image Comics has find a really good way of keeping things fresh. So I have to commend them. Uh, Little Monsters, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.